fish today one. Today I'm celebrating a loss of 18.3 pounds. Yay! I completed seven days on this raw foods diet. I went to Trader Joe's and I got my strawberry, watermelon, pineapple that I usually get. But I decided to add a few more things to my diet. Um, uh, yesterday I actually had a salad with some cauliflower, corn, red onion and spinach and it was amazing so that's more corn but i'm adding some cantaloupe to my diet and i got me some dates if you want something sweet i'm not even really quaving anything sweet because i'm eating all these uh fruits um, i got some date syrup and nothing's in there but dates and it's organic organic I also got me some ginger. I had a recipe once that I tried. It, I juiced some green apples, ginger, dates for sweetener, and some lemon, and it was incredible. day 12 guys I cannot believe the amount of energy that I have and also that I've gone 11 days without meat bread sugar soda I you know sugar is in everything I just learned that it is in ketchup it is in peanut butter it's everywhere but I've been doing really good I'm I'm actually proud of myself I'm very proud of myself um I've always struggled with my weight. Uh, the highest weight that I have been was 347 pounds. I, and I started experiencing rapid weight loss. I was still eating what I wanted to eat. I knew something something was going on with my body so in 2021 i was diagnosed with diabetes i lost about 70 pounds i was also very thirsty this is another symptom of diabetes for many years many many years even over a decade i had contemplated weight loss surgery Well, I finally made my mind up and in March of 2021, I had VSG weight loss surgery. This is one of two of the more common weight loss surgeries. Um, with this surgery, 70 to 80% of your stomach is removed. I had lost about 50 pounds after the weight loss surgery and then I reached a plateau. Then I reached a plateau and um, I just couldn't lose any more, any more weight, no matter what I did. And then I got COVID. So I got down to 235 pounds. Life happened. I was under a lot of stress. And before you know it, I was back up. Unbelievable. I couldn't believe, I'm like, I've made the most drastic decision with my body, I feel that I can make weight loss surgery. And here I am, I'm back, I'm way more than I weighed during this my surgery date. My surgery weighed 292 and here I, a couple weeks ago I was at 316. I said, something's gotta give. What inspired this uh, raw foods diet is my feet i felt like i was they were going to bust out of my shoes i was in so much pain not really from my head to my toe but i'd say from my back to my toes to my ankles they were swollen 
it was just so uncomfortable. I felt so sluggish. I felt heavy. And I knew, I knew that I had to make a change. Another thing that I'm doing is intermittent fasting. So I don't eat anything after 7 p.m. So between 7 p.m. and 10 a.m., I am only drinking water and I allow myself to chew a few pieces of gum. There's this gum I like called Pure Gum, P-U-R. Um, and this is a challenge for me because I work nights. So I'm wide awake and I'm not eating. But my body, I'm getting used to, it's like a, I'm getting used to, there's a rhythm that I'm getting used to. And I don't even, sometimes I'm like, oh wow, it's six o'clock and I still have to eat this fruit or I have to eat this and I'm full from the salad I just ate. But after seven, I'm not eating anything. I don't really see a difference in my body, but I certainly feel it. Y'all, I feel like I'm floating. My mom used to always say that 20 pounds is a dress size, and that may be true. My clothes feel so much looser. Um, another thing is I noticed that my skin is getting clearer. I will show you how bad my skin broke out um, as I had been regaining the weight. Um, another thing, if you try this detox or raw foods diet, I need to warn you that the frequency of your bowel movements may change. For me, I was going prior to this uh, raw foods diet, I was going like once a, a day. Now I'm going like two or three times to the restroom, but it's a good thing because it's a detox and your gut is being cleansed. Onions, cilantro, tomatoes, those are staples in my house, so that's nothing new. But today I picked up something I don't usually buy, and that's blackberries, raspberries, kiwi. I found this ready veggie mix with carrots, kale, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, and snow peas. And then I got some grapes since cherry season is over. And the funny thing is this brand's name is Temptation. Another day of salad and my favorite dressing. Honestly, I'm not craving anything except for fried fish and a croissant, specifically a breakfast croissant. Day 20, I am down 31 pounds. I want to show you guys what just arrived. I'm so excited. So my goal weight is 180 pounds. That's what I'm trying to get to, or a size 10. So I bought these pans off of Rev Dolls. I love silver. In my other video, my skate video, Impala skate video, I told you how much I love silver and how I graduated with silver shoes and a silver shirt on. Pans from Rev Dolls. They have a little stretch, but this is a size 10, 12. I am going to get into these. Let me show you how they fit now. I think I can only get my foot in. <laughs> That's it. So I have these and then I have a Poshmark store where I sell a lot of my clothes that are that have never been worn or used or too small, too uh, big, things that I've grown out of love with. Uh -oh. Well, these pants have been on my Poshmark store for about two years, and there's a reason why they never sold. That means that's because I'm going to get in these. This is also a size 12. 
this is the gold weight that I this was the goal size that I wanted to be after I had the weight loss surgery so let me just show you how these fit right now I'm probably about a size 20 so I am on a quest to Wonderland I need to get in the 100s this is how far these jeans go up on me right now right now but I'm also excited to show you what else came in the mail I just got a juicer I just got a juicer so I'm going to try I'm going to have this re this uh, recipe that I had before it is green apples lemon ginger and uh, dates but I'm just going to use date syrup but yes this just <laughs> I have tried juicing in the past and I was pretty successful with it. I did it for about two and a half weeks and lost quite a bit of weight. The only thing about juicing is it's more expensive than just eating your fruits and vegetables. One bowl of fruit, let's say the six apples that I just juiced and two lemons, I mean there's no way that I can eat that in one sitting. But when you juice it, it can be like a glass or two so it's just better for me or more cost effective for me to just eat my fruits and vegetables one thing you may want to be careful with when you juice is or even with this vegan or plant-based diet it's good to eat more vegetables than fruit because you can end up having too much sugar from consuming too much fruit so it's good to have a balance a nice ratio I'd say maybe I'm no professional but I'd say like seven to eighty percent of your portion or your meal should be vegetables and then the other 20 or 30 fruits get my walk in y'all my doctor says I should do at least 30 minutes of cardio, maybe three times a week. That's the goal. So yesterday, um, I was involved in a three-car accident. I think my car is totaled. It has to be uh, inspected tomorrow. I was on the freeway and someone hit me, forcing me to hit another vehicle. Um, it was crazy because one of my immediate reactions was comfort food. I want comfort food because I was stressed and I'm an emotional eater. I eat when I'm stressed, I eat when I'm happy, I eat when I'm sad. But you know, during this journey, I learned that I have to be my biggest hype person, my biggest hype man. So I'm like, you got this, you can do it. So here I am, day 27. Another thing I want to add is that I do not have on any concealer or foundation. I do have on lipstick and I draw my eyebrows because I have none. But my skin is getting so clear.
I broke my raw vegan fast at my niece's wedding with one of my favorite cuisines, Mexican food. I never thought that I could eat a raw plant-based diet for more than a few days. I ate a salad nearly every day and drank plenty of water. I ate mostly leafy greens and water-based fruits. I stayed away from beans and also avoided nuts because I didn't want to get the urge to snack. Knowing myself, I'd probably end up with a bag of potato chips in front of me. I'd like to lose at least 80 more pounds. If you enjoy this video, please like it, subscribe, and follow or join me on a quest to better health and in reaching your goal weight. Stay tuned. Until next time.